find out how well sunscreen protects from the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays. Here's what you'll need. You'll need some beads that change color in the presence of ultraviolet light. I purchased mine online for a few dollars. You may also be able to find them in toy stores or arts and crafts stores. You'll need one bowl, two Ziploc bags, You'll also need a large box with a lid or cover, and of course, sunscreen with the SPF level of your choosing. I'm using sunscreen with SPF 30. The sun is the nearest star to Earth, and it is the center of our solar system. That term solar means sun. The sun gives us light during the day, and even the light that we see reflected from the moon at night is actually sunlight. The sun is responsible for numerous processes that are critical for life to exist. Although the sun is necessary for life to exist on Earth, some of its rays can be harmful. Part of the energy that comes from the sun's rays is called ultraviolet, or UV for short. This simply means that UV wavelengths are shorter than the wavelengths of light that produce the colors blue and purple but we can't see UV the same way that we can see blue and purple. Just because we can't see UV doesn't mean it won't affect us. In fact, UV rays can be very harmful to our skin. That is why it is important for us to protect our skin with things like umbrellas, our clothing, and sunscreen. Today, we're going to do an experiment to see how well sunscreen protects from UV rays. The beads that we are using in this experiment change from the color white in non-UV conditions to various bright colors underneath UV irradiation. We want to know, will the sunscreen lessen or prevent altogether the changing of the color of the beads from white to the various bright colors that it can be underneath UV irradiation? What do you think? What's your hypothesis? Let's give this a try. This experiment is safe, so no need for goggles, gloves, or a lab coat. Add some of your beads to your bowl, as well as to the two Ziploc bags. Label your Ziploc bags test and control. Seal the bags closed. For the test bag, spread a thin layer of sunscreen onto one side of it, making sure to cover the entire surface. Although you want the layer of sunscreen to cover the bag, you don't want it to be so thick that you can't see the beads in the bag. Your bag should look something like this. Notice how you can still see through the bag? The control bag will be used to indicate whether UV light can pass through these bags onto the beads. The beads in the bowl are being used as a control so we can see the impact of sunlight on the beads without plastic covering them. Ideally, both the beads in the control bag and the beads in the bowl will have a nearly identical response to sunlight. Place both of your controls and your test bag in a box that has a lid. Close the lid so that none of the beads are exposed to sunlight and take your box to an open area in the sun. Quickly, open your lid in the sunlight and observe if there are any differences in the bead colors. Notice how the two controls both have very bright beads with no beads remaining white. Now look at the test bag. Some of the beads did change color, but there are many beads that are still visibly white. This result means that although the sunscreen doesn't fully prevent UV exposure, it is effective in limiting UV exposure. So the next time you're out in the sun, whether sitting by the pool in the summer or skiing in the mountains in the winter, make sure you apply sunscreen to protect your skin from the sun's UV rays. Okay, now we understand that sunscreen is very important for protecting against UV irradiation. But can we think of some other experiments to do? I've got one. What if we got two or three different brands of sunscreen, all with the same F SPF value, and did the same experiment. Which one would prevent UV irradiation the best? Here's another experiment we could try. Let's try the same brand of sunscreen, but with different SPF levels. So SPF 15 versus SPF 30 versus 
versus SPS 50. Will the beads change the color at all? Will they change color at the same rate or same speed? There are multiple experiments that we could do using these same items. So think of some on your own and give them a try. I'll see you next time.